Welcome back to a season at Tayanga. My name is Johannes Rogan. And my name is Lauren Rogan. The crop has progressed quite well from planting in late October, early November. Uh, we had some in-crop rainfall, which uh, has seen the crop progressing quite well. Just at this moment, we're looking at cotton crops being in full uh, reproductive mode. So there's a lot of flowers, a lot of early fruits on those cotton crops. Water is our most valued and most scarce resource when it comes to grow cotton. So we're putting a lot of effort into measuring and making sure that uh, water is only applied when and at the right amount uh, when needed. For 20 years, uh, we have put a lot of focus on increasing our water use efficiency. To increase our water use efficiency in flood irrigation systems, we have to make sure that we've got ideally perfect slopes uh, for water to run down the fields and also to recapture any excess water that makes it uh, to the bottom. We started introducing uh, lateral remove irrigator. We are now on Tayanga using on one irrigated area, half flood irrigation and on the other half let remove irrigators. The let remove irrigators uh, help us in being even more water use efficient. They do help with uh, labor requirements and they also economically are better in uh, stressing crops less at, at the irrigation time. To determine when we have to irrigate, uh, we have installed a number of soil moisture crops. So those soil moisture crops measure water at 10 centimeter increments all the way down to a meter. We said we've got a very specific uh, lot of information on where the cotton crop is taking water from in the profile and at what rate from day to day. If we don't have any water, we can't plant anything. In our driest years, we only have planted 20% of our total farming area.